Seneca Square, an enclave in New Jersey that's home to the highest concentration of Indian Americans in the country. There are over 5.1 million Indians living in America. That's a lot of voters. So I've come here to learn which name Indian Americans are going to circle on November 5th. Would you prefer Trump or Harris to win? I guess Trump has to win. Okay, tell me that. Tell me why. I don't know. I mean, he takes these crazy decisions, you know, what the inflation that's going on. Yeah. I think it can be controlled only by him, I guess, you know. Right, right. now, we don't need any, um, any more wars, Yeah. first of all. So, one of the major reasons why the inflation is rising up is because of the wars going on. Mm -hmm. And Kamala, I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm not sure if she's going to take any action to prevent these, but Trump, I'm, I think I'm sure. People criticize Trump for being crazy, that he's going to be a threat to democracy. How do you feel about that? I don't think, I mean, he, he may have some kind of personal issues, but I think it's just his personal, you know. I, I, there's nothing that has proven till now that has been any threat. Okay. Um, so if something it's been proven, then probably yeah. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. otherwise I, I haven't heard anything that he's really a, a big threat to the okay. democracy. Do you want Trump or Harris to win? Trump. Okay. Tell me why Trump. Because main thing is a business. Like he knows about the business policy and how to run the business and main thing everything works with the business. Like money comes from the business. That's the main thing. Okay. Have you seen crime change at all around this area versus Trump or Harris? Yes, definitely. Okay. It's too much crime started for now. Okay. Like even around here? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. What kind of crime is it? Is it robbery? Is it... Is it robbery and uh, like... Most probably is a robbery because they are start coming in the directly store and... They are just put it gun or whatever and they said, oh, just give money or whatever. That's Was it a gun? Yes. On this block? Yes. Oh it God. happened like twice. So, so first of all, the is a jewelry store. That's two jewelry store. Okay. Is a Pramuk jewelers this side. Now they're moving. Okay. And the other one is a Sara jewelers. The Sara jewelers, when they break that, almost the guy lose it five lakh dollar. How much? Five, five lakhs. Five like, thousand? Uh, five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars? Yes. So this might be surprising to a lot of you folks out there thinking that this minority subgroup within the United States of America living in one of the largest uh, Indian populated communities in New Jersey, you know, Indian Corner, and you're wondering, okay, that's only two people, a lady, a business owner. We're going to show you. There's a lot more folks of people that are there. And it just goes to show you that the Indian community, again, not a monolith, but one of the things, and this is what we talk about with my Indian friends here in North Carolina, is that when I asked them, and this was the thing that we asked even in 2020, a lot of them had no idea at that time that Kamala Harris was even Indian, South Indian for that matter. It was a shock and a surprise because she never ran that way. She ran as what? A black woman, which we know she's not black at all. She's completely lied about that. You know, the left talks about, um, you know, basically in terms of just appropriating things. Oh, you can't appropriate culture. You can't appropriate names. You can't appropriate clothes. You can't appropriate food. Stay in your own lanes. If you culturally appropriate or food appropriate or name appropriate or whatever appropriation you do, that's racist. That's bigotry. Well, I mean, you talk about somebody appropriating another race. Father is Jamaican. Mother is South Indian. No black in her blood. Just because you look brown or black doesn't mean anything. It just, you know, that's your phenotype. That's what you're outwardly expressing. That's what your DNA is doing. But as far as, and her father does not like the fact, he does not like to be called black. You've seen you know, posts of his and, uh, you know, other articles that have been written, does not like the fact of being called black. He wants to be called Jamaican. They're Caribbean. Mother of South Indian, when she ran in um, and took the oath of office in California for DA, she did it not as a first black female, black woman for the Democrat. Oh, no, she did it. No, it was not that way. No, sir. Go back and check it out. 
she was proud to say she was the first Indian, first South Asian to become that because it was expedient at that time in California for her to do that. When she wanted to get political clout across the nation, and when she went into the Senate, and prior to that probably, that's where she used her skin color. And she's a light-skinned, I mean, she's not dark black, she's light-skinned, more on the brownish side, right? White, I'm white here, a little brown over here, a little tan couldn't hurt. <laughs> but that's what she wants everyone to think. And the Indian people here, they know that, folks, and they don't like it. Because you weren't one of us from before, and you're not one of us now. But as the woman basically said before, strength for Trump, even though he may be a little bit, in her words, crazy, the business owner saying, hey, we made lots of money here. Now it's down. Crime is up. It was down during Trump's term. So anyways, let's hear from some more uh, Indian Americans in New Jersey. We're going to do that right now. So tell me about that one year without COVID. Did you feel that there was less crime during that time? Did you have more business? What, what, what was the difference between then and now? Yeah, definitely. Because that one year I was making like here, yeah. almost like whoever spent the money, 25000 or $30,000 in the store, and I have just $5,000 stuff, and I make a more money on that time. Okay, so you were making $25,000 a month in 2019, yes. and now 5000 Yes. Wow, that's a big difference. So it's a big difference. Okay. If Trump gets back into office, do you feel like he's going to be able to make those changes and bring it back to what it was? or? Hopefully, because main thing is how mess up right now is going to be supposed to be at least one and a half year to he how to understand what is it mess up then he can fix it yeah so at least it's take time so that business owner you talk about being astute and knowledgeable he understands like he said everything's so messed up right now it's not going to turn around on a dime it's going to take some time and he was basically saying about a year year and a half for trump to get into office but he wins and then to figure out, I think it's going to take less time than that. But I mean, at least the guy as a business owner realized it's not going to happen overnight. Now, this next person that's coming up, folks, he's a very intriguing young man. He's got three degrees. He's a legal immigrant talking about how great America is and how grateful he is to be a part of this because there's no country better than the United States of America. And he is also voting for Trump. And he is like thousands upon thousands of other Indian legal immigrants who are thinking in the exact same way as he is, folks. Check this out. Would you prefer Trump or Harris to win? Trump. Okay. Tell me why Trump. I'll tell you why. Most of the people you talk to will say Trump. Because most of the people you see here, like you're in a locality called Little India. And most of us come here legally. We are working, like we are hardworking people. We are very qualified. We, we literally like slog our asses to come to this country. We basically, I know my own process. It took me around five to six years of documentation preparing my case and I'm I'm a triple degree holder I have a degree in economics I have a degree in law I have a degree in uh, CPA so it's on that people like we, we are hardworking people and it, we, we really come here with expectations of a good life but to also con to contribute to this country like we respect this country we love this country and the point is what I'm trying to make here is most of the people here are the same. They all are hardworking Indians, are hardworking Amer like Americans and Indians, and they all love this country. And we would not like to see this country going down the drain. We do see how things are, and people are not stupid. People can see the good versus bad, yeah. the right versus wrong. So yeah, I mean, there are many, many problems that 
were not existing when Trump was here, and we see those problems now, right here. Yeah. Tell me, what do you do with those three degrees? So if you check out what this guy is saying, folks, I mean, what more do you want to hear from somebody? This guy has three degrees. Talks about the hardworking people of the United States, uh, uh, I mean, of, you know, people that are Indian immigrants that have come here to make a better place for themselves and their families. A long-lasting legacy, something they obviously knew they couldn't achieve, probably, in their homeland of India. And they understand why Trump is the only person there. Like he says, you know, we're not stupid. People aren't stupid or whatever. Now, I want you to hear what this gentleman has to say about the millionaire class, the billionaire class. And remember, he's coming from a country in which there's a caste system, and class system is very prevalent. And if you're at the lower levels, you can never, no matter what you do, you can never, you know, climb up that ladder. Whatever caste, whatever place you're in your life, that's where you're going to remain because of that class and caste system. But you can do whatever the heck that you want to do in the United States of America. But how many of our, you know, liberals and leftists and pundits and academics and just bemoan capitalism, just try to punish the millionaire, billionaire class and corporations and whatever, and the seeds of entrepreneurship and private enterprise and small businesses? Listen to what this gentleman has to say about that, folks. I'm just telling you, it is amazing how different immigrants are than some of the Americans who are on the left, liberals, socialists, Marxists, you know, communists, people that just want to do whatever they can to destroy everything in the United States, economic, social, cultural, all that. Listen to what this guy has to say about the uniqueness of this country. So that's my point, like, yeah. you don't want the millionaires or billionaires going out of this country. You want to make more of them in this country. You want to make this country better than what it already is. Mm. And trust me, coming from, um, coming from an eye of an outsider like myself, a legal immigrant, yeah. Yeah. this is still and will remain the best country in the world. So Amen. you got you to gotta protect it, my friend. You got to protect it. You just can't. Give it away. Do you want Trump or Harris to win? Trump. Okay, tell me why Trump. You know, like, he did very well. I feel like, you know, he maintained our, uh, what to say, economy very well. Mm -hmm. And so if he comes back, maybe better. And what do you do here? I own a restaurant. Oh, you own a restaurant? Yes. Oh, please tell me. So you own a restaurant here. What was the business like under Harris versus mm -hmm. under Trump? Cost of the product got increase okay yeah that's that's what i noticed so when you got to america did you start a business right away not right away it's not easy uh, because yeah. i came as a student here yeah and and it took me a lot like 2020 i started this business 2020 <coughs> okay was your intention always to start a business when you got to america yeah. yes that's my goal yes okay so how did you get this ambition where, where when did this first start for you oh, from childhood like you know uh, i don't i want to create a job so see, the previous guy we talking about, the guy with the three degrees, could you put it any better than yourself? The American engine, the economic engine, capitalism, making this country better than it was, the best in the world? <laughs> what else can you say? And this gentleman here, we say ever since he was little, he wanted to have his own business, doesn't want to work for himself, came here as a student to the United States of America legally, worked his butt off, obviously, Bought a restaurant. Now he employs people. Now he's part of the economy. But what did he say? Trump economy was great. Price of goods were down. Now, everything's more expensive. Cuts into his profit, I'm sure. Now we're going to hear from a couple of other people. Uh, that You're finally going to hear. So you're probably saying, well, come on, Dr. Nasser. There's got to be some, I'm there, sure there's some Harris people out there. So anyways, we'll let you in on a secret. There was one person that was a Harris guy, but even he 
had to admit that there was one policy of Harris's that he just can't stand at all. But anyways, listen to what these guys do. We'll take it from there. Do you want Trump or Harris to win? I don't yet decision, no, no decision yet. No decision. Still undecided? No. You're not undecided. Not undecided. Okay, so then you want Trump or Harris? <laughs> <laughs> Goes in so again. Do you want do you want Trump or Harris? Uh Trump. Trump! Okay, why Trump? I like it, that's why. <laughs> why do you like him? What what about him? Good uh, strong position. Fitness guy, they bring bring the more business. Which one do you want to win, Trump or Harris? Uh, Trump. Oh, why Trump? Uh, uh, he he's a good man. Just he's a good, good man. He's a good. What makes him a good man? Uh, because he's talking about immigration. Uh, uh, there are a lot of undocumented immigrants here, so he he, uh, he want to uh, just deport them. That so that I think that's a good thing. Look, folks, right there. I mean. Is he a white supremacist? Is he a racist? Is he a by God a bigot? Of course not. He's talking about immigration. He he came here legally, but he's talking about illegal immigration. Even the minority communities, brown, black, whatever color, even they folks realize the difference between legal immigration and legal immigrants and illegal aliens and illegal immigration. Sure. Yeah. Simple enough. Is there any other reason that you like him? Um, not uh, no other reason. Okay. <laughs> is there any? Is there anything that you dislike about Kamala Harris? Is there something that you don't like? Um, they they doesn't do anything. <laughs> they they are, they are just quiet. They are just quiet for everything, for the open borders, uh-huh. and for the for the all things. They are just quiet. Do you want Trump or Harris to win? <laughs> it's a trick question. Right? Trick question. Uh, Right now, I think Trump. Yeah. Trump? Okay. Yeah, yeah Trump. tell me why Trump. Tell me why Trump. I think it's because of the you know, wars right now. Because there are a lot recession. of wars going on, recession. Yeah. The recession and wars? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Two young Indian Americans, male, female, obviously, saying Trump. I mean, folks, this is in the, heart. This is in the Northeast. This is in New Jersey. This is in Little India. Okay. Uh, how do you think that he would stop the wars? Like, do you believe that if he gets in, he'll stop it? Yeah, I think so. Because I think he's, he can make friends with, you know, other nations as well. So I think he's a strong leader. Yeah. So he has done before that. I think du- during his time, I don't think there's a lot of wars going on. Uh, yeah. because, because last time he elected, I think there was not enough wars at the time. But after Biden elected, there was right. so many wars. Tell me, are you for Trump or Harris? Uh, Harris. Okay, tell me why Harris. Finally! Uh, we have all seen the, the activities of Trump and all. Trump is no doubt a good uh, choice for uh, presidential. But if uh, America wants to see a new phase, new policies, new rules for immigrants and all they need to give us a chance to harris too you mentioned you you want a new face you want new policies um joe biden said that kamala harris has stood by all of his policies she was a major part of all of his policies and she's also been vp so how is she a new face and how would she bring new policies if she was a part of that administration by by new face i don't mean that she will come and she will change all the things and all but there are certain kinds if you have 10 points of the rules and regulation you can i think you can manipulate you can cancel or you can just do something in that if you have power to uh, eradicate some of the the strict rules that can that has adopted by Trump here. So that's very interesting because yeah. to me you came here legally yeah. you did everything by the book yeah. and we had 15 million people come over the border yeah. not by the book many of them are criminals over 300,000 of them are convicted felons yeah. so how do you see it as fair that you had to do everything by the book and they just walk in? How do you that, see it as fair? That is totally not acceptable. It is not acceptable Not acceptable by the American government, not acceptable by the Indian government. We are not that. You just come around, you just create a mass. So this guy's for Harris. Starts saying that, you know, she, you have to give her a chance. You know, you can manipulate a few things. Maybe she doesn't have to check off everything just do a couple of things and then he has him and says well you came here legally you had to fill out paperwork it took you time money and years and then he said what that is totally totally unacceptable 
totally unacceptable. So I think the follow-up question should be is that if you feel that that was totally, totally unacceptable and she's did that for three and a half years, how can you now vote for her policy and for her to be in office? Because she's not going to change that. She's not for closed borders. She's for open borders. That's what the follow-up question should have been. Anyways, folks, hope you appreciate, I mean, we appreciate you certainly taking the time uh, to watch our show. You've been watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I've been your host. My name is Dr. Nasser. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, like, share, and follow. You all know what to do. Take a look at our other video links above and below. My final thought is always, when you're right, you're right. And when you're left, you're wrong. Until next time, folks, take care and stay safe.